dear students welcome to epg patsala we are here to discuss module on history of mass communication and in this regard we will discuss here history of newspapers dear students as we know that the mass communication and uh, newspapers has always been the source of information for the society newspapers is the only medium of information through which public were to be informed about their policies for themselves and schemes and uh, facts information and other kinds of information friends in this module we will discuss about the history of magazines broadsheet tabloid newspapers as well as online versions of newspapers friends as we know that in early ages in europe the newspapers started as the form of pamphlets and in uh, these pamphlets was hand written it contains the information and economic conditions of their states and public and uh, facts and uh, this were very helpful during the world war period we also know that in india the first newspaper was udant martan in 1826 it was started by jugal kishore and uh, the newspaper were a powerful weapon during the freedom movement in india and also it helped to the society and to the plan maker uh, during quit movement now let us see how it started the beginning of newspapers the newspapers have existed for the last 5 centuries if one looks back one would find that the nascent newspapers started in europe in italy it was hand written and circulated mostly among the merchant class and the elite ones in the society it contained mostly various trading news facts wars economic conditions around the world in addition it would also contain some human interest stories during this time in germany this type of hand written pamphlets were produced and distributed again among the merchants and members of elite class these stories were of sensational in nature particularly the news on the attacks on the germans in transylvania in south africa became popular but all these efforts were not regular in the english speaking world the first truly newspapers appeared in 1666 by the name of london gazette Prior to this, there were sporadic attempts to publish newspapers such as the Weekly News in 1622. Since 1666, many news attempts were made and newspapers started appearing around various countries in Europe. Now let us see the beginning of newspapers in India. The colonizers from Europe and America spread the newspapers culture around the world. In the case of India. the newspapers came to her quite early through the british james august hickey on january 29 1780 brought out the first newspapers in india it is also known as the bengal gazette the front page was full of advertisements hence it was also known as the calcutta general advertisers it was a two page weekly paper soon after the publication of hickey's gazette these where many newspapers started to publish like in calcutta indian gazette calcutta gazette the mangal journal and in madras it these were madras courier madras gazette india herald and in bombay bombay herald bombay courier bombay gazette the three presidencies of the british raj in india were having three newspaper in each in english in the year 18 111 a new newspaper calcutta chronicle was started under the editorship of james silk buckingham it is said that this newspaper adopted the best professional practice of newspaper at the time some of these practices were paying attention to fact highlighting the needs 
of the common people and approach the social issues objectively. The vernacular or the language phrase Raja Ram Mohan Rai, the pioneer in referring the society in India during the 18th century, started publishing newspapers. In 1822, he started publishing the first Bengali newspaper named Sambad Komudi. In the same year, he started publishing Miratul Akbar, a Persian daily. The effort of Raja Ram Mohan Rai influenced the others to get involved in publishing newspapers in their own mother tongue. One such effort in Marathi was Bombay Samachar by Fardauzi Muraban. He brought out the Bombay Samachar in 1822. Major Broadstreet Newspapers in India Broadstreet newspapers have played an important role in the growth of the Indian society from fanning the flames of nationalism among the people during the freedom movement to raising awareness about a number of issues in today's times. Newspapers have been at the forefront of social changes and developments. Even in today's digital age, Indian newspapers have witnessed a surge in their readership. Let us learn about the history of some of the prominent newspapers of our country. The Times of India The Times of India is the oldest newspaper in English language, with its first edition going to the print as far back as on November 3, 1838. At the time, it was called the Bombay Times and appeared in stands on only Wednesday and Saturday. The newspaper began to be published daily in 1850. In 1860, Bombay Times editor Robert Knight bought share in rival newspapers Bombay Standard and must it with his own daily to launch India's first news agency. The news agency acted as Reuters news agent in India and distributed news across India. In 1861, Knight gave his news service a new name, The Times of India. In 1892, Thomas Bennett and Frank Morris Coleman, who owned Bennett, Coleman and Company Limited acquired the ownership of the newspaper. The group still owns Times of India. At present, the Times of India is the largest selling English language daily both in India and across the world according to a report of Audit Bureau of Circulations. The Hindu Known for its left-leaning, the Hindu began publishing as a weekly newspaper from Madras on September 28th in 1878. It was founded by the sextet of T. T. Rangacharya, P. B. Rangacharya, D. Kesav Rao Pantulu, N. Subha Rao Pantulu, G. Subramanya Ayer, and M. Veera Raghavacharya. During the independence movement, the Hindu emerged as one of the leading voices of protest against discriminatory policies of the British Raj. Ayer and Veera Raghavacharya, who were at the heart of the Hindu's growth, parted was in 1898 with the former leaving the group and the latter becoming its sole owner. During the 90s, the newspaper began to lose its circulation which forced its owner to sell the daily to S. Kasturi Ranga Ayangar, who was serving as its legal advisor. Since then, the daily's ownership has remained in the hands of the member of the Kasturi Ranga Ayangar family to date. The statesman the statesman descended from two Kolkata-based newspapers, The Englishman and The Friend of India. It was founded in January 1875 by the same man who had launched The Times of India, Robert Knight. The statesman continued to be managed by a British corporate film until a consortium of companies owned by N. A. Palkiwala took over its ownership in the mid-1960s. The statesman had a bible liked hallowed status among the readers in Kolkata, the daily carved a niche for itself by opposing the shifting of India's capital from Calcutta to New Delhi in 1911 and publishing moving images featuring effects of the Bengal famine of 1943. The statesman is a founding member of Asia News Network, a grouping of 15 Asian newspapers that have joined hands of coverage of Asian events through Asian eyes. Though it has lost quite a bit of its readership with time, it remains a favorite of a reader from West Bengal. 
Hindustan Times Hindustan Times is the third largest English daily of India with its root tracing back to Indian independence movement. It was started by Akali movement founder Sundar Singh Lalpuri in 1924 with KM Panikkar serving as its first editor. Inaugurating the newspaper was none other than the father of our nation Mahatma Gandhi. With the Kali movement dying, the newspaper began to face financially crunch. Noted nation nationalist Madan Mohan Malviya and Lala Lajpatra raised funds with the help of G.T. Birla to acquire the newspaper for freedom movement. Birla took the full control of Hindustan Times in 1933. Since then, the newspaper has been managed by Birla family. Devdas Gandhi, Sir Mulgaonkar, Bizi Varghese and Kushwan Singh served as the editor of the newspaper over the years. Sister publication of Hindustan Times include Mint and Hindustan Hindi newspaper. It also owns Fever 104.0 FM station. The Indian Express the Indian Express, whose tagline reads Journalism of Courage, is known for its investigative and in depth reporting. The newspaper was founded by a Vedic doctor named P. Varad Razulu Naidu in Chennai in 1931. Due to financial difficulty, he had to sell it to the Free Press Journal founder Swaminathan Sadanand, though later businessman Ramnath Goenka took over its ownership. After Goenka's death in 1991, the newspaper was divided between two family members while one group retained northern edition of the Indian Express with Mumbai as its headquarter. The other got the control of southern edition which were clubbed together under Express Madurai Limited with Chennai serving as its headquarter. Today, the Indian Express is published from nine places Delhi, Mumbai, Pune, Kolkata, Lucknow, Ahmedabad, Nagpur, Chandigarh, and Balodra. Dainik Jagran is a Hindi delay newspaper owned by Jagran Prakashal Limited. It was launched in 1942 by Re revolutionary freedom fighter late Sri Puran Chandra Gupta. It was first published from Jhansi, Uttar Pradesh during Quit India Movement and later on from Kanpur, Uttar Pradesh. The founder of this paper wanted to create a platform in the form of newspaper that would reflect the free voice of people. Dainik Jagran is the largest read newspaper in the country and the second largest newspaper by circulation as per India's Audit Bureau of Circulation 2016. It holds its place as most read newspaper for 25 consecutive years. According to World Association of Newspapers, Dainik Jagran is one of the most read newspapers in the world. At present with 30, 37 edition, this newspaper covers 11 states of India. Further, Dainik Jagran started a compact daily in bilingual format with the name of iNext, which is popular among youngsters. Jagran Group has also acquired Midday in 2010 and Naidunia in 2012. Dainik Bhaskar was launched in 1948 with the name of Subhas Aver in Bhopal and Good Morning India in Gwalior, Madhya Pradesh. To cater the needs of the Hindi readers, later the paper was renamed as Dainik Samachar in 1957 and then in 1958 it was finally named as Dainik Bhaskar. Anand Bazar Patrika Bengal is the land of intellectuals and has always raised their voice against the wrong policy and system. Anand Bazar Patrika was launched to raise the voice against the state government during 19th century. Anand Bajar Patrika, earlier known as Ananda Bajar, and some other newspapers raised their voice against exploitation of labor in plantation and on the fields and violent denunciation of the European planters and the government. A newspaper in Bengali language in 1876 named Ananda Bajar was published from a small village of Magura at Jesor district in British India. The founders were father, son, Dew, Sisir Kumar Ghosh and Tushar Kanti Ghosh. After the demise of Tushar Kanti's grandmother, the newspaper was shut down. Later in 1886, Tushar Kanti Ghosh again started his publication with a new name, Amrita Bajar Patrika. Later, the newspaper was relaunched by proprietor Suresh Chandra Mazumdar and the editor Prafull Kumar Sarkar and by then it is known as Anand Bajar Patrika. Presently, it is 
published by AVP Group in the orientation of the editor Anirvan Chattopadhyay. In Adu, news and information has always been felt a requirement in the society. In Adu was born to fulfill the needs of Telugu people in their regional language to focus on their nuances, their concerns, their views and their culture. The newspaper was started by the Indian media by around Ramo Zirao on 10th August 1974. It was first launched in Visakhapatnam, Andhra Pradesh. This is a daily newspaper with the largest circulation in Telugu language in Andhra Pradesh. According to Indian Readership Survey of 2012, in Inadu has been ranked at number 6 among the Indian language dailies with a total readership of more than 59 lakhs. When the paper was launched in Visakha Patnam, hardly 3,000 copies were being sold in a week. After the venture hired a new set of directors to be part of its key decision, it has become one of the highest circulated newspaper in Telugu languages. Emergence of Tabloids After getting an idea of how broadsheets came into existence, we would now look into few interesting details about tabloids on set in India. In the technical sense, tabloids refers to a type of newspapers that typically measures 11 into 17 inches and is 5 columns across, narrower than a broadsheet newspaper. One of the first tabloids which started in United States was the New York Sun in 1833. Alfred Hemsworth was an early pioneer of tabloid. Hemsworth used his tabloid to influence public opinion. For example, by bringing down the wartime government of Prime Minister Herbert Henry Asquith in the shale crisis of 1915, let us now shed some lights on the historical development of few major Indian tabloids. Midday Midday Morning Tabloid was established in Mumbai in 1979 as a family owned newspaper by the Ansari family with the main objective of printing and publishing of newspapers, magazines, books, journals, etc. Midday since April 1, 2010 is a part of Jagannath Prakash Limited, India's most engaging local newspaper. Midday has become the quint essential physical connect for the social generation to continue their local city news today. The company also has an established presence in the multimedia space with its web version www.midday.com since 2014. Mumbai Mirror On 30th May 2005, Times Group brought out a dedicated Mumbai tabloid called Mumbai Mirrors after Hindustan Times and DNA announced plans to enter the Mumbai market. It was launched in a grand ceremony at Gateway of India on 29th May 2005. Mumbai Mirror was advertised and publicized in its own system media networks like the Times of India, Bombay Times and Radio Mechi. With a daily circulation of approximately 7 lakh copies, it is a leading English tabloid in the country. Its enriched content covers breaking news stories, in-depth coverage of news, city centric stories, youth initiative, lifestyle and entertainment. Mumbai Mirror has e-version as well. It has sister editions Pune, Ahmedabad and Bangalore. Online versions of newspaper. The advent of digital era and social media has changed the way news and views are disseminated in today's times. With the easy availability of internet, a growing number of people, investors in particular prefer to get their daily dose of entertainment and news online. This has forced majority of media houses to go online in the last 10 years. Today, almost all the major newspapers, magazines and TV channels have their 24 into 7 operational websites, it means 24 hours and social networking pages. Though in the beginning newspapers ran their websites shabbily and would only put PDF pages of their print edition on them. The coming days are going to be of web journalism. Let us sum up all these that we learned so far. 
we explained all the history of newspapers on the world level as well as in India. We have seen the how the newspapers started in Europe, in Italy and how it helped to the society and at the time the newspapers were contained only facts and economical conditions and photographs around the world. We also gave our eyes on the newspapers that was read and published in India. We also explained the newspapers, the first newspaper Sudant Marthand as well as we also explained the status and history of newspapers and role of uh, their in the freedom movement of India as well as fit movement of India. Friends, we also gave our eyes on the online journalism as well as broadsheet tabloid newspapers. We took many names and uh, many titles of newspapers that is coming and that is uh, printing in tabloid size. I think with this all news and with this all type of information you will be more helped by this module. Thank you.